Hodor remains with Bran in the cave of the Three-Eyed Raven as the young Stark explores his abilities. Bran has a vision of Hodor in his youth, named Willis, as an articulate and well-liked stablehand. He helps Lyanna Stark from her horse while watching Ned Stark spar with Benjen Stark. Lyanna suggests that Benjen find a new sparring partner with Hodor after Ned leaves for the Eyrie, and gives Hodor fencing tips. Hodor and Benjen almost have a match when Old Nan comes outside and discourages Hodor from learning to fight, since he is a stable boy, though Ned remarks that with his size, Hodor would make a formidable fighter. When the vision abruptly ends, Bran later attempts to use Hodor's original name and get him to speak, but gets only, Hodor, in response. Hodor later carries Bran outside the cave to speak with Mira, then brings him back in when it becomes clear Mira doesn't want to talk. When the White Walkers and thousands of Whites attack the cave as a result of Bran's reckless warging, Hodor holds the back exit of the cave to allow Bran and Mira time to escape. During the attack, Bran inadvertently wargs into Willis, linking the minds of the present-day Hodor and the young stable boy from the past. This mental trauma causes Willis to suffer a seizure, along with Hodor witnessing his own death, during which he hears Mira shouting the phrase, hold the door, through Bran and begins repeating it, eventually slurring the sentence together until it becomes, Hodor. Through Bran's warging, young Willis experiences the trauma of his own future death, damaging his mind, and explaining his simplistic and monotonous nature. Hodor keeps holding the door to give Mira time to escape with the still unconscious Bran, sacrificing his life as the Whites tear him apart in their attempt to break out of the cave. 